Well, when you can't use your own pump truck, you still got that blown out tire. My dad's on vacation, so come and got his. The job we're doing today is uh, right down the road from his office, so it makes it easy. We got to pump. We have to pump and abandon the tank today, so we'll do that and then bring the truck back. We're gonna head over to the job right now, get all this done. Late start having to come over here, but it's okay. Look how tight this one is. This is what we have to work with on this one. We also have to locate and relocate the main water line because it comes straight through here and it has to be 10 foot away from the septic uh, or sleeved, which we're gonna probably not have 10 feet, so we'll have to sleeve it uh, to keep it far enough away. But man, this was tough. We got the tank in and it was uh, not as bad as expected and I don't want to say that to jinx ourselves make the drain feel fucking or oops a nightmare uh, but yeah so here's the tank we ended up crushing the old tank uh, moving digging a hole and moving it over so we can set the new tank here and now the drain fill and go in this area it's 200 25 square feet, 15 arc chambers. Uh, the job we're gonna do tomorrow is also arc chambers. That's just what we have right now. It's what's, what you're able to get. Uh, so we're gonna jump on this one. We're making good time right now. Uh, we still have to relocate the water, the water line. So once we get this, we have to figure out what we need, go get it. So we're gonna get the drain filled in now. done he's finishing grading out the last little section uh, we already laid the two lines because so tight that's what we had to do had no room uh, and then we're going to lay the third line all 
Oh, that one's done. Ah, uh, man, I say this every time we do a tight drop. I don't think it could have got tighter. Uh, that one we did uh, last video or the video before that was pretty damn tight, but this one was pretty tight also. So that's the way it goes. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, it was not as hard as I thought it was gonna be. Uh, setting the tank I thought was gonna be an absolute ni nightmare. Uh, we didn't have one cave-in, which is shocking because that type of soil that we were in today, that's a caving in soil when you're setting a tank. So we didn't have one of those. Uh, it went in very smooth. You know, all in all, I'm really happy with that job. Did want to address something, my bucket, about how I don't need the teeth on my bucket, that I need to get a smooth bucket. I am ordering a smooth bucket, 36 inch smooth. Can't wait to get it and give it a try so you guys can all prove me right or prove me wrong. Sorry, I can prove you all right. Um, so that's it. Uh, we're done for the day. I appreciate all the comments that are coming in. Uh, even those, I, I appreciate all of it. I love it. Uh, somebody was just asking me where they can get hats and shirts. Uh, to be honest, Chandler doesn't even have company shirts or hats. I don't have any right now. So I did just order another batch. But I'll see you guys tomorrow. This one is not tight. This one, not hard. Greasing down the machine right now. Uh, Grainfield is pretty much going where we're sitting. They have a gray water tank over here with the drain for going out that way the main septic tank is right here uh that's it it's 225 square feet we're gonna grease this bad boy down
Oh man, we are done. Uh, but that's a wrap. Thank you guys for watching this one. As always, I appreciate every single one of you that are watching. I am loving all the comments coming in. I just like going back and forth with you guys. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Lakeland Septic Company. And uh, I just really appreciate it, man. I'll see you guys on the next one.